So, what on earth is this thing we call social construct? What does it do? How was it made? Well, I believe I have found an answer. So, way, way back in the day, the dawn of mankind, there was one single civilization who heralded one single idea. Now, many different people agreed and believed in this idea, this state of being, this religion, what have you, until eventually there was a disagreement. Now, with that disagreement came new ideas, and then people started taking a liking to those new ideas, saying, oh, that's new! Oh! So, many different people started going over to those new ideas, supporting them, favoring them, and then there are two social groups, two different ideas. Then these social groups, amongst themselves, ran into more and more disagreements. More and more people coming up with more ideas of their own, and more people branching over and joining in and supporting those various new ideas. Until eventually, we have an entire civilization constructed of various ideas, various beliefs, and various states of being be it political or social, or what have you. Now, does this matter in this life? Does this matter in how you should look at someone? Not particularly. Now, though it is true you should respect and, and what have you with their own beliefs, what you should also do is you should accept them for who they are, find a sense of unity and togetherness despite the various difference in each society and ultimately come to dispel those disagreements. Come to not prevent new ideas, but to prevent an outburst of violence through those disagreements. And perhaps as a more civilized civilization, as redundant as that sounds, we can find more peaceful ways of bringing out new concepts to our society. This has been Eli, reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Man!